Hey there, this is Fritz Westover with Virtual Viticulture Academy and the Vineyard Underground Podcast. I'm pruning a beautiful petite mansang vine here in North Georgia. And I wanted to share with you, we had a freeze last year. Come on in and look at this. This was a cane that was laid down between my hands here last year. And secondary buds came up because the freeze killed primary buds. And it's very weak. So the other thing, same thing happened on this side. A cane was laid down. We had a lot of buds that didn't push. Or if they did, it was very weak. So this is our opportunity to get in here now and redo this while we still have a chance to put some strong wood down. So luckily we left a few backup spurs uh, below so we can get some additional canes that could be laid down. And it looks like this one produced a really strong cane. So I'm gonna identify this as my cane to replace this side of the vine, my left side. And then I'm gonna find a cane, either this one here or here to replace this side. And I really mm -hmm. like this one here because it's coming right up onto the wire. So what we're gonna do is cut that Check it to make sure it's clean. It's nice round wood. It's about three eighths of an inch, much larger than pencil size. That's what we want for our cordons. And then we're gonna take this one here, remove our additional spur, or cane rather, that we don't want, and leave only the cane that we're interested in. And that also is nice green wood. So what I'm gonna do now is this allows me the ability to take out the bad cordon that was developed last year. I'm gonna leave, because this is two-year-old wood here, it's actually three-year-old wood, I'm gonna leave a little bit of space wood there just to make sure I don't have any dieback into the vine. We could also treat those wounds with a product of your choice for treating pruning wounds. And I'm gonna just go ahead and use these rubber ties to pull this out. And then we'll just remove this unsuccessful cordon. This is the one that didn't perform well. Now we can have a complete redo. We can build this cane up onto the wire here. We have a few buds down here that will act as our um, backup buds in case we get another freeze, but I always like to bring it up straight and we're just gonna go ahead and put my pruning shears away. We're gonna tie this on. I'll go ahead and do the tying while I'm here too. Onto the wire, I'll use these anchor ties today because they're quick and easy to use. And that's what this vineyard is using. And then I'll tie between my last two node positions and that's gonna give me that basic shape. Now you could also bring this in and tie it in so you get rid of that gap in the middle. On the other side, I was gonna bring this one up here. So what I'll do is I'll leave a backup spur here in the center and I'll essentially remove all of this here with a cut that allows a little bit of space for dieback. That's two-year-old wood. So we're gonna go ahead and make a cut with a little bit of space for dieback. Gonna go ahead and remove all of this that was unsuccessful, in my opinion. Um, there are some nice canes on there, but the ones that were laid down in the wire are really not so good. So we're gonna go ahead and pull that out. Let me go ahead and put this down so I can get in there and pull this out properly. I don't want to break this. This is a very nice tie that I could reuse here. And once that's out of there, now we can lay this cane down onto the wire by first tying in tightly here. And then we're gonna go ahead and put the cane always on top of the wire. And I'm gonna go from about my elbow to my fist is my rule. That gets me about five to seven buds. It gives me a bud in the downward direction for continuing the cordon because we're not done developing these cordons yet. We wanna actually create an extension from this end bud here. So you can trim up any laterals, anything in here. You could trim any dead wood that was left from the year before. And when we're done here, we'll count the buds. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on my backup spur. That's some dead wood there. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So about 14 to 15 buds means I'll have 14 to 15 clusters, if not 20 to 22. And we've completely redeveloped this vine. And now all we have to do is hope we don't have another spring freeze. 